Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be making spicy pan seared kebabs. This recipe is perfect for homemade kebabs, it's delicious, it's easy and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, let's get on with the video. Okay, so here we have 500 grams of beef steaks that I, thin I thinly sliced to make uh, thin strips. If you want, you can use lamb, but I'm using beef for this recipe. So you need 500 grams or half a kilo of beef. Okay, let's move on with our marination. So here we have 3 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Half a tablespoon of salt. Two tablespoons of meat tenderizer. And meat tenderizer is basically ground papaya powder. Papaya is basically, um, it's a super agent for meat tenderizers. So two tablespoons of meat tenderizer. I'm just going to be mixing that all together thoroughly so that the meat tenderizer can activate. Okay, so one teaspoon, half a tablespoon of uh, white pepper powder. Two tablespoons of green paste. And green paste is basically two, red, uh, two green chilies hand, and a handful of coriander and mint. Two and a half tablespoons of uh, poppy seeds. And half a teaspoon of red chili just for just for a bit of spice so half a teaspoon of red chili powder one teaspoon of coriander powder and four to five tablespoons of oil and mix that all together Okay, so we're going to let this marinate for about 30 minutes. If you want, you can let it marinate for 15 to 20 minutes. Or for best results, one hour or overnight. But I'm letting this marinate for 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes now. And let's take off the cling film. And as you can see on the background, I have some skewers, wooden skewers, that have been soaking in water for a little while so that we could skewer the kebabs. And the wood would not burn when we're cooking it. So let's skewer the kebabs now. Okay, so here we have a pan that has been heated up on high flame. And when we're putting the kebabs on it, we're going to lower that onto medium flame. And we're going to let each side cook for about 10 minutes. Each side of the kebab uh, for 10 minutes. We're going to let that cook for 10 minutes. Honestly, this tastes so good. The, the kebabs, the meat turns really soft and tender and just melts in your mouth. And it's bursting with flavor and it's just overall delicious.
Okay, this is the final product. We took the kebabs off the skewers, and here's the final product. The kebabs taste so good. It's bursting with flavor. It's very tender, and it just melts in your mouth. It is honestly the most delicious thing I've ever... The del it's really delicious. And I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, and I hope you guys tried out this recipe. Anyways, make sure you're subscribed. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, you know the drill. Bon appetit at office.